Hi, everyone. Welcome to this seminar discussing case five on the practices of environmental cost management analysis. I am Arvi Swami, will be your moderator today. The presentation will be made by group five and I hope everybody can focus and benefit from this presentation. Group five, you may start your presentation by introducing yourself and the first presenter may start straight away. So group five, please start your presentation. Okay, hi, uh, I am Izan Inani Miti Muhammad Maharaji and I am the first presenter. Hi, my name is Naji Habintino Azmi. Uh, I will be the second presenter. Hi, I am uh, Nur Ali Madiranza. I am the third presenter. Hi, I am Wun Chao Chong. I will be the fourth presenter. Hi, I am Abigail, the last presenter for today's case. Okay, for the first presenting, I will be presenting about objective for ECMA in Vietnamese brick production companies. Okay, we all know that the environmental pollution has become a serious matter, a global problem, and all business activities that give negative impacts on the environment has generated increasing attention, and this will lead to increased environmental costs especially in brick industry, which where the brick industry is one of the cause of environment pollution. Uh, moreover, it's not only going to affect the environment, but also the enterprise itself. For example, increasing in cost of waste and pollution prevention and management costs and etc. So in order to uh, Introduce the ECMA application in Vietnamese brick production. The author has provided us this article for us to review. Okay, the first objective for this case is to determine what factors that influence the application of ECMA in Vietnamese brick production. As I, uh, uh, there are no application in ECMA in Vietnamese brick production big production because ECMA is still in early stage in Vietnam. Uh, with the large number of brick production companies in Vietnam and the importance of this sector in the economy, environmental cost information needs to be managed. However, uh, with their current technology in brick production, it's already give negative impacts on the environment. Because of the negative impacts, they need to reduce the environment effects, then they need to set uh, some requirements for the brick production on, redu in, on reducing the environment effect, I'm sorry. So if the enterprise or production using ECMA application in their production, it can help the production to identify the factors and provide the solution. Okay, for the next objective is to provide a clear image of ECMA application in Vietnamese brick manufacturing enterprises. In the article mentioned, ECMA is also known, uh, known as one of useful tools to reach better environment and also useful tools in achieving better financial benefits and already have been proved by other studies in another country. Uh, it's because ECMA is not only about accounting, it's also used as a source of provision of information on environmental performance. ECMA use financial information or monetary information and also use non-financial information or physical information in the system. And because of that, ECMA application is more apparent or more clear on environmental management. And there are also other uh, studies mentioned in the article and the introduction first paragraph, the studies has considered ECMA as a useful tool for managing uh, environmental performance and has been applied around the world except in Southeast Asia, just like Vietnam. 
So this is a great opportunity for Vietnamese brick production to use ECMA in their production in order to have a better financial benefits, good environment and also in management too. Okay, for the third objective is to identify the sustainable development using ECMA application in Vietnamese brick production in order to achieve both economy, environmental and social benefits. Under research overview, uh, we can look at the research, of the research overview. Sustainability development um, was mentioned when the environmental information was actually connected to management accounting uh, in order to achieve the goal of sustainable development. So the entire the enterprise need to control and prevent any negative environment impacts by linking the environmental information into company's accounting system, which is mean enterprises needs to collect analysis and provide uh, environmental costs into their accounting system. Because as I mentioned just now, uh, ECMA is used to measure and use financial information or monetary information and also use non-financial information or physical information related to the environment to improve environmental efficiency. So it's, just, it's suitable to identify the sustainable development. Um, for example, uh, the, the enterprise can increase the environment Increasing environmental responsibility, reducing environmental environmental risk, um, producing environmentally friendly products, and increase financial performance using resources uh, efficiently on etc. Okay, then we will be able to achieve the goal of sustainability if they able to use the ECM application in their production. For the next objective is also to study the effects of uh, ECMA in brick production <clears throat> by analyzing the participants' attitudes, perception, and concerns about the potential for applying ECMA. Okay. And that, this, that is the purpose why the author using qualitative and quantitative research methodologies by analyzing view, talks, and interests of managers associated with the application of ECMA, not only managers but also involve um, workers, their skill and their informa information too. Also, this analysis can help to know the manager on making investment decision. Uh, is ECMA help the manager to consider environment cost management decision making or not? From, from the analysis too, we can see that the managers are unaware of environmental costs and consider the environmental costs as a not information, inform, not important information for decision making. Um, however, not only the managers are unaware of environmental costs, but also the workers too, because of their lack of skills and lack of information about environment. So we can indicate the debris industry have adopted low level of ECMA. Uh, as a result of that, the author has suggested a, a solution that will be explained later. For the last objective is to know the implications of on the side of enterprise, government and community for promoting ECMA application. This objective is to know what are the implications for promoting ECMA. Is it a positive or a negative one impacts to the enterprise, government, and community? And also we can know what, uh, what the enterprise and what uh, government and community can help to suggest uh, for the company to use ECMA application in order to um, have a better environment. Um, from the result, we can also know what to improve in order, that, like what I said just now, to improve in order to increase the awareness of, uh, uh, to increase the awareness of ECMA application in brick production. Uh, not only the enterprise should take action, but also government and the community too. So the environment can be more better, good social benefits and benefits and 
we can achieve the goal of sustainable de development. Okay, that's all from me. So I will pass the to the next presenter. Thank you. Uh, I will present for I will present literature of Vietnamese great production companies. Um, literature, environmental pollution causes increasing in environmental costs due to environmental regulation and social needs for sustainable development. Uh, second, environmental cost management aims at minimizing the cost impact of an entity during its operation. Organization should collect analyst and report environmental costs accounting systematically to manage and control environmental costs. Uh, managing the costs will have beneficial environmental effect by implicitly reducing hazardous activity, by raising spending in some areas and also helping to create and to create a positive brand identity, it has the potential to improve productivity. Uh, ECMA is one of useful useful tools to reach better environment. Although ECMA is a is an area of accounting, it is expressed as an extended term related to the provision of information and information on environmental performance. ECMA application in environmental management is becoming more apparent. ECMA has attracted increasing attention and it's considered as a useful tool for, useful tool for managing environmental performance. ECMA has not has still not been popular in Southeast Asian countries such as Vietnam. Great manufacturers are playing an important role in development of industrialization and modernization. The manufacturers have caused adverse environmental impact with the new brick manufacturing technology. We have to set some requirement requirement for the brick production enterprises to reduce the environment environment effect. The is the ECMA program will be designed to the environmental impact of grid production. And ECMA can also examine the opinion, talk, and desire of managers relating to the ECMA. So that's all for me. Hi everyone, I'm going to present about the research methodology. So I already put the definition in the slide. Um, the definition for the research methodology is the process used to collect information and data um, for the purpose of making business decisions and so on. In the simple words, research methodology is a type of method we will use to collect data and analyze it. So for this research, they use qualitative and quantitative methodology to analyze participant concern, their attitude and perception about applying ECMA. Uh, so, next slide. The qualitative methodology, the author will use the qualitative for question about the ideas, the meanings or the experience about uh, and you want to study something that cannot be described numerically or cannot be described in quantitative. So you're going to use the qualitative methodology. For the data collection, uh, in deep interview method being used, uh, normally carry out face-to-face. -face. So the interviewees and interviewers can talk freely uh, without limitation. So for type of interviewees, uh, for type of manager involved in the interview, First is chief accountant, second warranty manager, fourth director, third director, fourth deputy director in size for medium and large companies. So the total up for people who involved in this interview is 15 people. Their average length of job uh, experience is between 4 to 12 years. Uh, next, the interview begins from the director and deputy leading to the accountant and end with the environment manager. They did the last interview with the environmental manager because not all business have an environmental department. 
the author will choose the manager that relates to the attentive interview, uh, interviewers. Uh, there will additional individual involved in the interviews and they will contact by the phone and emails. Last point, the before the interview is conducted, the author will send the invitation letter and the questionnaire to the manager so the manager can prepare answer in advance. Next slide. We have the information collected was recorded fully and was considered confidential. Information, information was used as a basis for next research as an important evidence. The author contact back by phone or email if the previous answer were unclear or missing. So any information collected will be recorded and as requested by the interviews, their identity will not be disclosed. The author will contact the respondent if the if she or he uh, would like more information or was unclear or about the answer. The last in the interview were not only guided by the development proposal from the theory, but also the participants were allowed to talk freely in order to discover new perspective. Next slide. Now we will see how the process and analyze the data apply. First step is they are synthesized the data into the work file. So answer from the 15 respondents were recorded carefully and completely in the work file. Second step, uh, define the keywords. The author read each quotation in the data file and identify the key phrase that best describes the content of the quote. The last step is the create Excel file to enter the process interview data. So the Excel file contains the characteristic of the responder, which is name, their age, or what they are, whatever, other characteristic. So next slide. Quantitative methodology, quantitative data to explore the factor that affect the application of MA. The collection process of quantitative data involves the following step. First is questionnaire design. Authors send the questionnaire to manager in Vietnam Bridge Manufacturing Enterprise. So uh, they use questionnaire design based on the Likert scale. Um, the mean level is from 1 to 5 where 1 represents uh, strongly inapplicable and 5 strongly applicable. Uh, second, survey sample selection. Survey sample selection, the study selected the sampling method and completely ensure representativeness typically for the whole. So, breed production enterprise selected for this study differ in scale to reflect diversity and have more complete evaluation. Uh, last, how to send and collect the questionnaire. The questionnaire sent to manager in 150 Vietnam Bridge Manufacturing Enterprise during the period 2016 until 2017. Mm, next, they have two options. First option, the author send survey from the directly to the manager in bridge production enterprise and collected them directly after completion. Uh, second, online survey form designed by the Google Docs tool were sent to managers by email. Online questionnaire were automatically updated to the summary sheet. So I think we are all quite familiar with this type of questionnaire. For example, we saw our senior in a fourth year. They will use both options to ask us to fill out the question provided. They will meet us in advance or send us a link to answer their question. So last but not least, how the data will be the process. Uh, any revised data or questionnaire will be processed by SPSS through tools such as reliability testing, descriptive statistics, relationship testing, and difference testing. So that's all from me. I'm going to pass to the next presenter. Good. So very thank you to Irene. Now I will continue to talk about the data analysis and the discussion. Next. So first, the research result will be divided into two parts, which are quantitative research result and also the qualitative research result. Next. So we will look at the quantitative result first. Next. So this is the table two. So this table is used to verifying the reliability of observed variable. So we can see that in the table two, 
the correlated item total correlation and the combust alpha if item deleted are greater by 0 0.3 and also greater than 0 0.6. So we can conclude that all our observed variables can be used for our can be used as our research question. Next. Next, we will look at the table three. This table is to tell about the descriptive statistic of the observed variable result. So we can clearly see that in the table they have include mean, mode, median, and skewness and kurtosis. The value of skewness and kurtosis of the observed variable are in the range of negative one until one. We show that the observed variable follow the standard distribution. In add observed variable means value of all observed variable are in the range of 1.97 to 2.68. The variable using monetary information to measure environmental cost has the largest mean of 2.68 and the variable such as tracking environmental cost by detailed account has the lowest mean value of 1.97. Mean and mean mode and median value of all observed variable equal to 2. Except the observer using monetary information to measure the environmental cost has the value of 3. As a result, we can conclude that most brick production enterprise apply ECMA system in a low level. Next. So now we need to examine the relationship between the level of ECMA application and the operation scale. So in table 4, it shows that a small size enterprise which is less than 100 people absolutely did not apply ECMA. In the conclusion, it seems that the larger the size of enterprise is the higher level of the ECMA application is. So they are positive correlated. Next. So now we verifying the difference between the level of ECMA application and operational skill. We are using the test of homogeneity to test the differences. As a result, we have the significant value of 0 0.026, which is lower than 0 0.05. So the variance is significant different, except between the 100 to 200 employees if 200 until 300 employees are not statistically different because they have the significant value of 1, which is greater than 0 0.05. Next. So in table 6, it's showing the relationship between the level of ECMA application and the total capital. We can see that the small capital size enterprise, which is below 20 billion, never applied ECMA. In the result, show that if the greater of the total capital, the higher of level ECMA application in the enterprise. So it will be the positive correlated between the capital and the level of ECMA application. Next. So last in the quantitative result, we will look at the differences between the level of ECMA application and total capital. We are having the result of significant value of 0 0.000, which, which is lower than 0 0.05 between all the classes of total capital. So that was a difference between the level of ECMA application and also the total capital. Next. So, after we fin finish review the quantitative result, so we will now look at the qualitative research result about the level of ECMA application. So this research result is reflect the common situation in the brick production enterprise. So they have the seven situation which is currently happen in the brick production enterprise. Next. So next, I saw so the first is accounting information tend to the monetary measure only. So which means that the accounting information will not combine with the environmental cost information and the combination of both cost information is not popular among the enterprise, which result in the, in the physical information is ignored and not available in the accounting system, such as the information about energy, water, and waste. Next. So the environmental costs are collected in the overhead account. This fact is tell us about the enterprise hiding the environmental costs under the overhead account. So 
the environmental costs are linked with the non-environmental costs. For example, cost of waste control and treatment, cost of polluted prevention and management are recorded under the cost of business management and cost of production. This will result in the environmental cost is difficult to find in the accounting system. Next. So we knowing that mostly enterprise allocating the environmental cost according to traditional method. Normally, enterprise will allocate the environmental cost based on the production activity, such as production volume, working hour, machine hour, production norm, etc. For example, we cannot determine the product with the higher volume production will generate higher environmental cost. It will be unsuitable when we need to determine the actual cost of the product. This misleading the information will lead the manager to make the wrong decision and ignore the opportunity to cut down the cost. Next. Now, the enterprise will also have the limitation in the estimation of environmental costs. This is because of the low level of environmental cost integration into business decision, which means that the information need to make the estimation is not enough. Just like mentioned before, the environmental costs contained in the overhead account make the estimation become worse. It is hard for them to identify the environmental costs in the overhead costs. So the enterprise do not know how to estimate the environmental cost. Next. So the, the, the enterprise also have the limitation in reporting environmental cost and assessing environmental performance. According to regulation, each company must provide the environmental report, but very few enterprise truly pay enough attention in the preparation of report. This is mainly caused by the manager because they was not tracked and monitored each environmental information regularly. So, uh, an inaccurate and defective report will be submitted by the enterprise just to fulfill the need of the regulation. Next. So, next, making business decision is based on inadequate environmental information. This is because the manager do not fully consider environment information is important when want to make any decision. The environmental costs are not collect completely and often being distorted in internal management decision lead to the inaccurate figure on the lead to incur, inaccurate figure on the information. Some of the costs will incur when we making wrong decisions such as material flow cost, recovery cost, unforeseen cost, cost of British and relationship and image of the business are ignored on the decision. Next. Lastly, the, mostly the manager always have a low priority on environmental cost. Implementing of the environmental cost management accounting is for the company to have the sustainable development. But most enterprise more focus on the short term financial benefit rather than the sustainable development. They are not willing to invest a lot of money in the environmental project. Management accountants also are not clear and not fully understanding about the ECMA. Therefore, environmental costs are not priority for them. Management accountant also having the problem in calculating and monitoring the environmental cost information, just like mentioned before, because this knowledge are not in their expertise. So that's all the seven situations that are currently happening in the Brick Enterprise Production. So that's all for me. I will pass it to the next presenter. Thank you. So thank you, Boon, for the explanation on the data and also the discussion. So hi, everyone. My name is Abigail. I'll be now doing the part of conclusion. So in this conclusion, we'll be seeing two things, which is the solution and also the suggestion. So the author of this uh, article, and stated five types of solution. Okay, why do they come up with this kind of solutions? Uh, because first of all, uh, the current uh, management accounting system does not collect the necessary environment cost information to help them to control and to manage the environment cost. So uh, the author suggests that the ECMA's uh, new field is still a new field in Vietnam brick production. So they need this 
uh, a very good uh, management accounting system to improvise and to integrate this account uh, environment cost in the uh, account system. So first of all, let's go to the first type of uh, solution which is suggested, which is to design a separate account for the environment information. Okay, the reason to come up with a separate account is to ensure that as the accounts are clearly uh, clearly stated and presented and it's easier for them to collect the data and to measure and to monitor the environment costs okay and with this physical account they can uh, you know uh, come up with more solutions to improvise their management accounting system so just to know that uh, let y'all know that this solution does not need to be, uh, it's not a big revolution, but it's just to renew and to improvise from what they have. And moving on to the second type of uh, solution is to it, uh, introduce environment costs. Uh, so they have suggested five types of uh, main five causes, which is, first of all, is uh, material cost of non-product output, which is uh, the input material which has been converted to, non, uh, to an output material. Uh, output products, for example, the raw materials, additional materials, packaging, and also the operating uh, materials. So, and the second one will be for energy cost. Energy cost can be considered as the electricity, the fuels which are being used in these uh, brick productions and in this entrepreneurship. So uh, the third thing will be the cost of waste treatment and management. So cost of uh, examples of cost of waste treatment and management are like causes of handling and treating and also disposing wastes. So these are some examples of environment costs. And the fourth cost will be the cost of waste management and prevention. In this, we can see types of and. Um, Causes which can be considered is the cost of uh, ecosystem management, recycling, and also clearance product, uh, cleaner production. So in this, they can these things can be classified as also environment costs under the cost of waste management and prevention. And finally, under the envir uh, environment cost is the system cost, which is mostly can be related to the direct labor if the labors are not used efficiently you are going to waste them uh, the energy and everything so this can be also linked into the environment cost so the third uh, solution that was been developed by this uh, author is um, development of method of depending on in determining the environment cost so at the moment we can we have heard from what my Friends have presented earlier that environment cost is not really popular right now and it's not showing a they are still new to it so what we can see is when they are using the traditional management accounting uh, standards or the process it shows them an unclear view of what is this environment causes are and also affects the decision making of the business so in when they have come up with this kind of methods on determining it it allows them to make a wiser decision. And the fourth thing is uh, to make environment, environment cost reports. So with this report, it helps them to uh, improve their economy and their environment. And also it links up with their sustainability programs. So when they have this environment cost report, it allows them to prefer, uh, provide a better sustainability report. And finally, the solution that has been suggested is also to build an environment performance indicator. So with this indicator, it shows, it allows them to share the impact that is caused by these uh, businesses and what are they, op how are they operating? And at the same time, how are they improvising or, you know, uh, making things better and recovering the environment? Because brick is something got to do with nature. So how are they using the nature and also giving back to the nature? And in mostly environmental causes depends fully on the uh, indicators we see as the environment pollution and everything. These are all the indicators. So these are some of the solution which is being uh, suggested by the author. So moving on to the suggestions on how to improve this kind of things. Uh, the suggestion is divided into two. First of all is on uh, two parties, which is the uh, Vietnamese uh, Vietnam brick production companies. 
So at first they have to uh, educate, uh, they suggest on education and professional development for management accounting and uh, department and environment. At the moment, we can see that there's a very uh, low understanding or very, very less people who are acquiring knowledge in this man uh, management accounting field. So when they don't have a basic understanding on management accounting itself, how more do we expect on the environment cost of management accounting? So what we see, uh, what is this being suggested is that let that the companies has to come out with and uh, the directors, the deputy directors, to should encourage their employees and also you know uh, employ more new people who I have better understanding on this uh, management accounting and also the ECMA. And the second thing that they can do is to improve the connection between the accounting and environment management department. As we can see, uh, accountants, they pay attention more on the calculations and the numbers and also the uh, reports of the financial only. But when the, but for the management, uh, I'm sorry, for the environment managers, they are more focused on how to improve the manage, uh, to to integrate their uh, products and their process with the environment. So we can see that, that if there's a very good relationship between these two uh, teams or departments, they can improve in using the ECMA uh, methods and everything. So uh, there should be a better relationship, co-relationship between the accounting department and also the environment department. Certain companies which we saw like, uh, which was presented just now, which is like, the companies below 100 uh, workers or 100, uh, 100 people working with them, it's like a small companies, they don't have environment managers. So these things like this, they have to integrate using one manager to just communicate with everything. So these things they can improvise in it. And finally is to uh, raise awareness uh, of environment manage, uh, of environmental managers about environmental information. So at the moment, uh, from the survey and also the interviews done by the author, they state that the managers have very, very poor understanding on the e uh, ECMA uh, practice and how to be used, how to prepare the report, all these things, they are still lacking knowledge. So the company has to come up, come up, come forward to help them to improve themselves and, you know, to implement this ECMA. And finally, what does this, uh, what the government can do is also uh, develop general framework of ECMA. So at the moment, they don't have a guideline on how to prepare the ECMA, how to generate the report and everything. And uh, next, the government can integrate ECMA into standards and guidelines of environment management systems. So uh, environment management system is already an international thing, but at the moment, ECMA is still not being standardized and there's no proper guideline. So the government should come in, uh, come forward to you know provide the necessary uh, standards and guidelines needed by the companies because when it is something which is said by the government, many times um, people tend to follow and they have to listen to it. And finally, uh, and the third thing is to develop and set up ECMA theoretical uh, base for company. So like how, if there's a framework and there's a standard, so therefore, therefore there will be a theoretical base. How can the uh, company move in using this ECMA? How can they uh, prepare the report? How can they do the calculation? What kind of accounts will go on the environment uh, accounts and everything like this? And also providing them environment reports and spe uh, special guidelines. Like they have reports for the sustainability and all the uh, corporate reports and everything, but at the moment they don't have a proper guideline on how to pro pre uh, prepare a environment report. So these things government should come forward preparing a, a, a guideline, a sample or an example on how they can do this. And also they have to formulate uh, scientific projects. So when we say recycle, reuse, these are all things where people follow when they say they do it. So government should come up, come up with more scientific projects that shows so when you reduce using, when you use less uh, waste, when you, you recycle your waste, what will happen? When you reuse energy, what will happen? So these kind of scientific projects allows uh, companies to, uh, to implement all these ECMA uh, in their company standards and everything. 
and also government should also uh, not to forget to support all the researches being done relating to ECMA as we can see like ECMA is something new in the Southeast Asia so uh, researchers are uh, the amount of re uh, research done in this is very less there's no enough grants and everything so government should come up with to uh, with some solution to overcome these issues and support them to know and to investigate more on all this kind of thing and finally the government should also exchange information with other countries as we can see that uh, the Western countries and also the Europe countries has been implementing this kind of uh, this environment cost management account, uh, accounting for a long time. So uh, they can use the experts from there and you know bring it over to the country and uh, modify the standards or the frameworks according to what is needed for this uh, for this country in Vietnam and also especially and mainly in this brick uh, production. Uh, economy. So thank you. That is all from me. All right. Thank you, presenters. Group 5 have done a very good job in explaining the elements of this research on the implications of environmental cost management accounting. So we have been made clear about the objectives of the research, the literature of the research, the method, methodology used in this research, the findings, analysis, and also discussions of the data in this research, and also a very good conclusion. I hope all of us have absorbed all the knowledge that's been given in this presentation. And any Q&As would be held in the Q&A session during the live class. So until then, thank you and good day.